in terms of the age of Reagan, again, because we idolize him, we give him more credit. I, I see him more as kind of a figurehead for a movement that started before him. So I think the age of Reagan actually starts getting built in the 1960s. And it's the counter reaction to the war protest you were talking about. It was the, the counter protest to the movement culture, you know, the rise of feminism, the civil rights movement radicalizing, the Asian American movement really sort of takes root in the late 60s, um, um, the gay rights movement, like all of this, this movement culture provokes a conservative backlash to it. And uh, there's been a really good scholarship done on sort of like the direct mailing uh, empire that was built. Like the, the, they would reach out, like the, so we didn't have the internet, right? So it would be mailers that you would send out to people to try to 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 build a kind of movement. And I think when we talk about the 60s, we talk about the left-wing movements all the time. And in doing that, we miss the way in which the right was building a movement that would eventually get us to Nixon, but beyond Nixon, to Reagan and to where we are today. And so in many ways, the the age of Reagan doesn't start with Reagan. I would argue it really starts in the mid 60s. It begins to take root in our institutions in the 70s. And we're kind of living with it institutionally, but also culturally, right? Much of the way we think about the world is conditioned on these mythical ideas we have about Reagan. And thus why I want to teach post 45 history, right? I, I am completely uninterested in teaching a history of superheroes and supervillains, right? Like that's one thing I know for sure. History is not populated by superheroes and supervillains. It's populated by real people. And our job as historians is to try to understand them on their own terms first, and then to start building out larger conclusions. So um, does that answer your question? To me, that's that's where it comes from, is that the, what we've completely forgot about the late 60s is the right wing response to protest and movement culture that gets us to where we are today.